Hey guys, welcome to this short introduction to QuickDraw, my Blender plugin. Everything that I'm going to cover, you can find on my website. I'll have the links in the description, but if you don't want to read all this, just watch this video. So what is QuickDraw? QuickDraw is a tool for concept artists to take pre pencil sketches and convert it to geometry really quickly. So by default, that process might look something like this. Convert, is a curve, delete that, convert this, select everything, fill it, still not going to look right. You need to do a lot of manual work. We're not going to do that. We'll use quick draw. Get a pretty good shape right away. So let's just go into factory so I can show you how to install. You're going to get a zip file. Install that, enable it. And uh, if you don't have the proper add-ons enabled, which come with Blender by default, you'll just have to press this button next to the machine and it will set you up and you're ready to go. I'm going to start my Blender. So I have my config. I'm just going to walk you through all the features. All right. So you'll notice I'm not making a new 2D animation file because that's going to create a grease pencil object and go into draw mode for you. Uh, for you. You don't want to do that. You don't want to have any G-Pencil objects here. You want QuickDraw to do all that work for you. So you press W, you're in draw mode. The stroke placement by default is going to be 3D cursor. If you press 2, you'll be on surface with a slide offset. If you press 4, you'll be stroke first point. 1 gets you back to 3D cursor. By default, you're using a line material. If you press Shift G, you'll have a shape fill, like alchemy. You guys remember that? G gets you back to line. W to enter draw mode. If you want to simplify this shape, press A. You get adaptive simplified while you're still in draw mode, which is nice. You don't have to go into edit mode and select all your points and stuff. It's really useful. If you want to draw a straight line, got a little wobbly, press S. It'll delete everything besides your first and last point. If you want to draw a circle, just do your best, press C, and it'll try to give you a perfect circle. Now, tuber. So this is for cables and pipes. You draw a thing, press B, and you have a Bezier curve with the settings exposed. Simplify keeps the first and last point, which is nice. And um, one nice thing that you can do with this is kind of duplicate it around, make it your, this kind of like, to create a base mesh for sculpting, select all your tubes, press Control shift r to remesh, and you'll notice it'll fill the caps for you. I'll cover the remesher more later, but one thing about that is if you use this extrude setting, uh, you won't be able to cap it. You won't be able to use remesh like that. I think that's a blender error, but I will look into it for v3. Okay, next. Oh yeah. Draw your shape, press Control w That's going to give you kind of a strip of polygons. So you can simplify it, push the width, extrude the depth. And one thing here is this straighten one is really nice because it deletes kind of based off an angle. So you get these corners. The corners are good because then you can uh, do a 2D and 3D bevel. See that? Another thing, you saw a close option there, so I'm just going to demonstrate that. In this case, I got some bad geo because of, you know, that shape just sucks the way I drew it. And if that happens, you can press A and just simplify it out when you're in the grease pencil thing. And then you press Control W and it should be good. And now you can close, you can do all your 2D bevel, 3D bevel. So there is kind of a tweaking sliders thing going on. And uh, this isn't for perfect geo. I, I wouldn't treat it like that. I would look at it, look at a uh, box cutter and mesh machine and hard ops if you want perfect geometry. But if you want that concept art kind of perfectly imperfect thing, I think this gets you good enough geo, you know, work 70% of the time, 100% of the time.
in a, so that was poly add, which was activated with control W. Now we're going to use poly sub. So for all of the Boolean ones, you want to have an object selected. And now you press W. Now you draw your shape, press control shift W, and it's going to give you a cut line. Push the width on this. This is really nice. You can also set the 3D cursor to your face, have the geo selected, press W, draw this thing, control shift W, now you've got an extrude. That's pretty cool. Up the width up, lower the extrude amount. This is nice for like little inset details. And then straighten it up. So we just get the corners, hit it with the 2D bevel, 3D bevel. That's pretty cool. And it'll keep these settings, so keep drawing and it'll hopefully work every time with this. So one Next. thing I want to mention is for poly add and poly sub, we want to do one continuous stroke. It kinda it can mess up if you do intersected lines. And for poly sub, one thing that I didn't mention was you want to have your geo selected. So when you press W, you have it. You had your object selected to cut into. So now you can cut into it. Okay. So now let's go into draw add. And for this one, you actually do want intersected lines. Press Control D, and you've got the shape that you drew. Again, this has simplify and straighten. All the same stuff. Um, scale is just another feature to kind of protect you against bad geo, but usually if simplify and straighten doesn't work, I'll just control Z and just press A, and that will fix so many problems. And then just, you know, repeat your action. Now let's select this, press W, draw our shape. Now for draw sub, you don't have to close this off, usually. Sometimes you might, but for most cases, like this is probably going to work like this. Press Control Shift D, and it just cuts it off. See? So select Control Shift D, cut it off. And also, we can do something like this Control Shift D, cut it off. You can lower this extrude amount. There we go. And then you can even hit it with a 3D bevel. Get a nice little inset. And what's nice is it keeps those settings, so do it again really fast. So that was draw add and draw sub. So now we're going to draw a new shape. We're going to make sure everything is intersecting. Press Control D, we have a new shape. Select it, press W. Draw something, press Control E, and that's going to separate it out. So now we've got a new shape, kind of like 3D coat box hide, and this is good for uh, after remeshing to get cut lines basically. But I'll show that later. Getting ahead of myself. So press W, select draw your shape, control E, you've got a separate object. You also have a little slider here for extrude just to create some shells, which is nice. Okay, that was draw uh, expand. Now let's draw a new shape. And let's use draw move. So this one, select your object, press W, draw your shape, control shift E. This is gonna cut through. This is kind of creating edge loops. And it puts you in the edit mode. So you can do stuff right away. You can also, if you just wanna create an edge loop like that. That's really useful. And now, finally, remesh. After you select your object, press Control Shift R. You got a little pop up with the resolution, creates a modifier. So this is Sculpt Branch only. Everything else that I showed works uh, in the default Blender. For this, you need the Sculpting Branch. And uh, what else? So, like I showed earlier, if you uh, have a hole, it'll cap that for you. And it also knows 
down a modifier, it will not mess that up for you. So what I mean by that is, let's say I have a shape and I remeshed it and I want to cut in Control shift D. No, it's not going to cut in on the remeshed object. It's not going to apply it. So that kind of helps. And I think in the future, as the remesh modifier gets faster, then maybe I will just have it, you know, constantly be updating like 3D coat. But for now, I felt like this was the smartest way to do it. So yeah, that's actually it. Uh, just let me know in the comments if there's any questions. Read the description for more information, and uh, I hope you enjoy.